All right, YouTube, this is the big one. You see how much math I did? You see how much work I did for this video? I wanted to answer the question, how much difference does it make buying a 10th ounce Gold Eagle versus a quarter ounce Gold Eagle versus the half ounce versus the full ounce versus the ETF? And if your goal was to buy one ounce of gold per year, how much difference uh, um, do all these premiums make? And how much difference do the taxes make? So I did all this math. All right, guys. Starting with uh, gold spot. And I just went 10 years back to where gold was about 1336. And let me just show you where I got these numbers from. Okay, guys. So I went back to where gold was 1336 10 years ago. It grew at about 58.5% over 10 years. So annual lines is about 5% per year. So that's where we got these numbers from right here. So that, um, you know, we're roughly around here right now, where it's about, you know, 2176. And about 14 years from now, gold's going to be crossing $4,100 if it continues on this uh, trajectory. I then said, because uh, my personal goals own a minimum of 24 ounces of gold, right? So what if I bought uh, all 24 ounces using 10th ounce gold eagles, paying a 20% premium? So today, where gold's around 2176, uh, you'd be paying 2611 in 10th ounce coins. With quarter ounce coins paying a 15% premium, you're paying about 2502. With half ounce coins using a 10% premium, you're paying about 2393. With a full ounce paying a 5% premium, you're paying about $22.85. And then with the ETF, I just calculated it as buying at spot price, but um, I threw in that 28% capital gains tax to see how much effect that has at the end of the uh, 24 years, okay? So if you did this, did this for 24 years, at the end of the day, you paid $71,345 in 10th ounce coins for the same 24 ounces. You paid $68,372 in quarter ounce coins, $65,400 in half ounce, $62,427 using full ounce. And on the ETF, you paid $59,454. And then if you wanted to sell all that at one time, uh, your, your total value would be $98,485, the same across the board, okay? Or then how much profit did you make? So your profit is um, how much you sold it for minus how much you paid for it. So for the 10th ounce coins, you made $27,139 in profit. And that's what you see over here on these bar charts. For the quarter ounce coins, uh, you made $30,112. $30,112. So each time you go up an increment, you're gaining an, an additional $3,000. For the half ounce, $33,000. For the full ounce, $36,000. Uh, for the ETF, you made $39,000. But after you pay that capital gains tax of 28%, it actually comes up to 28,000. So the 28,000 comes up between the 10th ounce and the quarter ounce. So um, I think most people agree, uh, don't buy the 10th ounce bullion. It's, it's um, if you're paying, you know, 20% premium, that's an awfully lot. Uh, most people would agree, by the quarter ounce and above and this this chart confirms that and i understand that the difference at the end of 24 years um, between a quarter ounce and a full ounce is about six thousand dollars if we divide that over 24 years about 250 dollars a year so you you have to decide if that's worth it to you or not obviously we want as much of our money um, at the end of the day and six thousand dollars is a nice amount. Um, if you can, if you have the patience to save up for the full ounce, you're just going to be paying less premium. You're going to have more of your money at the end of the day. 
Um, but I, I understand there's a psychological benefit to buying on a steady schedule. And for most of us, buying a full ounce is difficult. And as the spot price goes up, it's just going to get even more difficult. So um, most people are buying the quarter ounce uh, Eagle. And it's really not that bad. Um, like I said, you're, you're losing about 250 per year. But at the end of the day, you still came out ahead with $30,000. You're doing better than the ETF. You're doing better than the 10th ounce. So for most people, that's why we're not doing the ETF and we're not doing the 10th ounce coins. Now, you owe taxes on all this anyway. Um, uh, this is only for entertainment purposes only, and I'm not a financial advisor. That's all I'm going to say on that. But for most of us, I'm going to say if you're buying the quarter ounce, the half ounce, or the full ounce, you're doing, you're going to do okay. All right. I hope this answered some questions, guys. This was helpful to me. Uh, I just want to know how much difference it makes. It's going to make about three thousand dollars difference over over a lifetime, over twenty four years. Now, of course, if you're buying double that, then you're going to it's going to double the the difference. So if you're buying 48 ounces of gold over 24 years, then now we're talking about a $12,000 difference or $500 per year. So the more you buy, the more differences it's going to make. So if you can stick to buying a full ounce of gold and paying a 5% premium or less, because with Krugerrands, it's it's even less premium. Uh, With most Other coins, it's going to be less premium, but you usually get a little, you're going to get most of that premium back when you sell, so it kind of breaks even either way. If you can stick to the the full ounce, you're going to, you're going to have the most money at the end of the day, but if you just got to break it up some and just buy a quarter ounce or a half ounce, you're going to be okay at the, at the end of the day. I think so. So that's what I have for you guys. Let me know if this was helpful. This was a little bit of work. Uh, I'm a data analyst by trade. So this is what I do all day long anyway. I'm constantly making charts. I'm constantly analyzing data and numbers. This is not scary or anything to me. So I hope this was helpful for YouTube. I've never seen any other YouTube channel break it down like this. But that's why, that's how I like to differentiate myself. I like to just give you real data, real numbers and real advice. Uh, On my next video, I'm going to give you advice on how to afford gold using the strategy I've been using, which is a combination of using the stock market, selling off at all-time highs, and then transferring that money into gold. That's what I've been doing, and that's how I'm able to buy um, basically an ounce a month right now. So I'm well uh, ahead of schedule of, of where I need to be. My goal... My goal is to have a minimum of 24 ounces by the time I retire and and optimistically 36 ounces, which is just to get me through a recession without having to touch my stock portfolio when I'm retired. That's my, that's my whole, whole, uh, goal, my whole strategy. But, uh, I hope this helped you guys. Let me know if it did. Let me know if you want to see more of this. Let me know if you have more questions that I can answer with data. And I thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.